Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole Capricorn. This, I decided to go, I decided to take a, a leap of faith here. <laughs> um, I kept getting this intuitive nudge to do readings for our inner child, all signs, right? And um, so I wanted to do that during December. Obviously, I took my little hiatus. And um, so now, instead of doing the January readings, um, I decided to do these for the beginning and then I intend on getting mid-months out instead. So um, this is going to be for what your inner child wants you to know at this time. So some of that shadow work, some of the things that we could be working on or addressing or things that you may see that are popping up right now for you that or maybe even have been because that intuitive nudge came a couple weeks ago for me um, of what it is you need to work on. What I'm going to say to you too is I seen 1010 10, and then within like seconds I seen 1010 10 on something else and then you are the 10th zodiac of, of, the, of the wheel. So Capricorn, um, a lot of endings, a lot of new beginnings, a lot of closing out of cycles that are happening. And I kind of feel like the tens that I've seen, there's been five of them. That's, you know, massive change. It's coming five, 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 you know, like it, it's, it's coming. It's, it's, it's coming. This change is happening within you and for you. And uh, it's something you need to be aware of. Be fluid with it. Flow. Be in the, the be in the divine flow of that. If I could talk. Oh my goodness. Um, Capricorn. I also want to say happy birthday to you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your your season, your solar return is just beautiful for you. Um, I hope the new year started off appropriately for you as well. Um, Capricorn too. I'm going to say this. Uh, the one thing that I heard from spirit too is always waiting for the other shoe to drop. And, um, you know, that, that's indicative of the traumas that we experience. And when we talk about traumas, they can be big traumas, right? They can be earth shattering kind of traumas. They can also be small things because it's, it's how our, our chemical body, I'm going to call it, um, responds to the things that are going on around us and how, um, we take that in the way the experience happens, you know, our right brain takes in the experience, the left side of the brain processes those experiences. And, um, so it's kind of like when these situations are coming in, the right brain is like taking them in and going, shit, this is the experience I just had. But I feel like you're still processing emotions from the past that are showing up now. Uh, and, you know, talking about the inner child, those wounds can go back to day one, right? Of, of your life. And then for others of you, these things could have happened, you could have had a very steady, easy flowing childhood. And then, you know, at 17, shit just happened, right? So um, it's going to vary for all of you. So place this where it fits, you know, don't force it to fit. My intention is for sun, moon, rising. If you feel that it resonates with your Venus or cross watch or you're watching for your Capricorn, um, you know, guys discern the messages, put, put it where it fits for you. Or you could see your Capricorn going through something like this right now and seeing that, that spirit is saying influx of energy. So uh, Capricorn, let's see what comes out for you guys. And again, happy, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you're doing well. So, all right, Capricorn, what is, oh, I got the hiccups again. I think I digest more air than anything else sometimes. Listen, uh, <laughs> I, listen as in like, listen, listen, here's the card. Um, <clears throat> discernment, I just said, discern the messages accordingly. Um, I do. I feel like you're in this constant state of kind of trying to hide yourself away a little bit. That's like, I'm just going to watch what's going on around me. Um, going to be the observer to my own life. And, you know, again, it's, I don't, for some of you, some patterns could be repeating, but I also feel like you really are looking at various things in your life and going well it's almost like a fear of who you want to connect with or how you want to do things moving forward because there's been that past experience that has kind of shaped who you are and how you respond or react to things but it's like there's still underlying this what i like about this card with <laughs> and i said you could be kind of hiding away preservation there you go behind, behind it in friction you know what the past troubles have been and, and I think you guys have more clarity around it than you're willing to see sometimes. Like, there's been moments of knowing that 
situations maybe have let you down or left you feeling high and dry. But even though like that pain still exists, you're still feeling that energy, there is um, hope. Like I do like the fact that she's looking at this flower and she's like, well, it could be something beautiful, right? Um, there's still hope and optimism that's underlying the energy here that says, um, it's like you're you're paying attention now to the red flags and I've said for a couple of years now like I read something one time and it was like it made perfect sense to me there are yellow flags before there are red flags right um I think they use those in NASCAR maybe I don't even know I don't I haven't watched NASCAR in 10 plus years but um I'm showing my countryside aren't I um but it's like if you're paying attention to what's going on you don't have to be on the defensive. You don't have to wait for the other shoe to drop. But I also feel like your faith in situations and other people too could just constantly be in a state of wavering going, is this person going to do me the same way the other person did? So this could be in relationships. This could be um, family in-laws as well. Um, some of you are bringing attention to a uh, second marriage. Don't know what that's about for some of you. Um, but it's like, are these situations going to replay again? And you're again waiting for like the shit storm to happen, waiting on these, these, these energies. But I wanna say to you, like if you are sitting deep within going, I, I do have optimism, I do have hope that um, this year, you know, I'm gonna say this year because it's your solar return, right? This year for me is going to be different. Not so much about the new year because I haven't, I haven't gotten a lot of energy on the new year new me shit, which kind of makes me happy in a way because it's not about, I mean, we can start over five minutes from now. We could start over five minutes ago, right? Um, we don't have to have January 1st hit on a made up people calendar in our 3D world to hold us accountable to have to be somewhere all the time to go, I'm ready to do this differently. I'm ready to move in a, in a different way that's going to be supportive of where I'm headed in life. So it's like, what does this year for your solar return look like for you? And it, it's gonna be what you make of it too, Capricorn. So make sure that you're sitting in a space of gratitude um, for every experience that you've had, even if they've been ugly ones because they've been brought into your existence to teach you something. I, I feel like you're afraid to get, you know, tell you guys don't have expectations, right? But there comes that expectations card. I feel like there's an awareness within you that your expectations of other people, like don't expect you from everybody else, ha has let you down, has been part of this, this let down kind of energy. And you may be sitting back letting people, and I think this just came out in the Daily Read, letting people kind of do their thing. Let them move as they they wish they're free to roam is what i'm hearing from spirit they're free to roam and allowing yourself to be comfortable in just the expectations of yourself right that's the only thing you have control over is you and it's almost like there's there's a fear attached to um Spirit is saying letting go and holding on to these these people. Like, you know if you've had people in your life that have let you down, um, do you trust that again, right? Broken trust there. But also a fear of totally being self-reliant in the sense that um, Spirit said you're putting up a good front, but all is not as it seems. <coughs> so I feel like you guys have been bent to the point that you're like at what point do I just snap what and when I say snap like not going postal kind of snap but just feeling like you've been bent until you break kind of kind of feel and that formation is like how many more blows can I take how much more of this can I put up with because it's like I'm looking at her face and it's weird that I'm seeing it like this I've never seen this card like this I usually am, am very fond of this formation card but you see the way her head's tilted back. I feel like she took a couple blows from, from Mike Tyson. Like, how many times can I get punched in the face and my head just, boom, goes back that I can just pull myself back up and find the strength and courage to go on? Because it just feels like blow after blow after blow after blow. It's like I'm getting my footing again, boom, here comes another punch. Um, 
again, waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like, when it, who's going to be the next person? Who's going to be the next thing? What's going to be the next thing? It's going to, you know, pop, pop me in the face. Uh, you know, like my, my lip can't take any more, you know, blood. Like it can't take any more beatings. So it's Capricorn. It's kind of feeling like that with you guys, <clears throat> but yet somehow you're like, okay, take a deep breath. I'm going to get back up again. So, you know, have, give yourself the credit that every time something has happened over the years, you've gotten back up. Maybe it was slower than the last time. And I kind of feel like part of that slower energy is like every time something has happened, it's like you've slowed down. Either resilience to get back up has slowed down. And I think that's, a, that's part of that fear for you is, I don't know if I've got anything left to give you do. Spirit said, you sure do. <laughs> you sure do. So even if you think that this is like you're at the end of your rope, Capricorn, you're not. Um, it's just been a lot of tough lessons. And, you know, it's easy. Oh, just a couple tough lessons, right? But they do wear you down. They do wear you out. And then you feel like you've got a kind of, be, you know, self-protection mode of is there really hope? But yet it still lies there within you. It's there. You're you're a very strong sign, Capricorn. You're very um, stable and steady in a lot of ways. And, I, you know, as many blows of you t as, you, as you have taken, your feet have still remained planted firmly on the ground. And so it's like, you know, you think about, um, what were those um, for a while? What, what were those called? They were like the those blow up things with the sand or the rice or whatever it was in the bottom and you would bop them and then they would swing back up, right? Like that's, you're, you're bottom heavy. <laughs> you're bottom heavy, you're planted to the ground. Like you always, you always bounce back up and, and you will. So if you're going through something right now, um, I wanna say to you, Spirit said the hardest lessons are over because now you get to use the experience of the tough lessons to navigate what is going to transpire in 2024 for you. You're back up, get stabilized again. And I feel like too with this, you're not going to be caught off guard as easily as you were in the past, whether it's your health, it's you yourself, your family, your business, like you could have almost walked through things in a very naive sense that not the idea that it wouldn't happen to you, but I mean, could be for some of you, um, but that just that you didn't want to see the world in, an, in a negative connotation, but you've had these difficult lessons that said, hey, this is the reality versus the expectation of what goes on in the real world. 13 on the clock, you know, transformation death of Scorpio. Um, but I do, I'm going to say it, you do feel like, you know, Scorpio tends to transform this energy where you guys, it's like, um, Scorpio comes out with their stinger or blaze and you guys are getting back up. There's, there's a, there's a difference in the way the movement is happening. So not so, and I think part of it is you're having a hard time transmuting. Um, I think Scorpio and I don't, I'm going with that because that 13 was on the clock as a comparison. Um, Scorpio can sometimes tend to enjoy the, the ucky stuff. They know how to, they do it well. Um, for you guys, you know, Scorpio doesn't get hopeful. They just get pissed off and then that becomes the motivation. With you guys, you're stepping into like a water element of hope, right? Like, okay, just let it flow. Like, but yet being very cautious, it's a cautiously, cautiously optimistic of what's to come next, okay? So I hope all that's making sense for you in just those couple of cards. So, all right, Capricorn, what else? What else does your inner child want you to know at this time? I just heard, like, a, a, am I deformed? Is there something wrong with me? No, there's nothing wrong with you. No. Um, I just, I heard from Spirit, they tend to, they tend to think that there's, um, oh gosh, I'll just bring that back to me, Spirit, please. Bear with me, guys, hold on a second. I can't quite get the wording back in, but what I'm going to say is what the, what it gave me was, um, like people not accepting you or s refusing to see you for who you are. Like they could see you, you know, people create a picture in their mind of who we are, right? 
it doesn't matter what sign you are. For you though, I feel like the perception of that is they've seen me as naive. They've seen me as weak. They've seen me as giving. And now it's like this fierceness. Uh, Spirit is saying some Leo kind of energy, that fierce, you know, strength card uh, coming in. And it's like you're trying to figure out how to step into that power, how to step into that strength where you don't feel like you have to protect, where you just stand firm. And it's like finally somebody respecting you for who you are and going, you know what, they're not, they're not a person to be played with. They're not a person to be walked over or walked on um, or ignored. So it's, it's kind of like that energy that, that spirit is bringing. And as, as I say that, look what's on the bottom. I just happened to look down and went to shuffle the strength card. There you go. <clears throat> so, you know, they could have seen you as the person they could easily walk, walk on, walk over, walk across with little retaliation because you just kind of sat back and watched it happen. Maybe you didn't know what to say, how to say it. You just kind of took, again, you took the blows without swinging back. And that's the one thing I will say when I was getting that energy. I'm watching you get socked and you're just like, okay, I'm gonna pull myself back up. And there was never like a, a nudge of, all right, I'm gonna come back swinging. It's just, I gotta restabilize, okay? So, all right, spirit, for Capricorn, what does Capricorn need to know? What does their inner child want them to know at this time? Whoa, see them flying? All right. I heard I don't want to be face down in the mud again. Oh, goodness. Watch the structure of your jaw. If you're getting like, um, P.S. I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. Uh, but if you're having issues with the jaw, you know, maybe like pain, um, like locking up the jaw, things like that. It could be TMJ or something to that effect. Go, go get seen, right? Music. You... You think about music, there's there's profound words in music. You know, you really want to know what a person is thinking and feeling, listen to their playlist, right? Um, you could be finding yourself in time of just needing to listen to something that is going, and then you've got freedom, listening to something that's going to free you up, something that is going to be harmonious for you. Um, it's, it's, you know, Spirit says, whether you know it or not, like you're creating a masterpiece. Some of you could be writing, could be music, doesn't have to be. But I, I get this connotation from Spirit of, of writing, that writing is an outlet for you where you're able to release like the ghost of the past. So whatever that means for you, that, that there's, a, there's a creative outlet, whether it's by listening to music while you're doing whatever it is you're doing, what if you're writing. Um, but there are things that do bring harmony into your world. Um, and that becomes your muse. So whatever that is for you that you have kind of tucked away, and this could be something that you did when you were, you know, a teenager. That was your thing. When you were by yourself, that was your thing. Um, allow that to be your thing. Bring back that creativity within you to give you the space to, to like, flow with what you know is within you, as Spirit is saying. Um, freedom. The block, <coughs> self-trust on the bottom, excuse me. I, I don't think I've seen this card, but maybe once before recently. Um, I feel like your, your visions, uh, again, going back to expectations, you expected you from other people, right? You expected them to meet you at the same place you were, but you know, we're always going to have people that meet us where we are and people that are going to try to bring us back down. It's just it's that flow, right? That's the way it goes. We have to have those experiences. Um, I feel like part of that is there is a lack of self trust, but I feel too that with this music and freedom, th there's been a disconnect Capricorn for you of, of the self because you've allowed these people or these situations to come into your life and create probably what felt like upheaval for you and it's like can I trust my own judgment of the people that I allow in my life again lessons knowledge combine that with you know the fact that your feet have been firmly planted on the ground right you're connected to the earth that you also incorporate not just um that but the mind the body and the spirit 
right? You're incorporating all three of these things as the lessons. And I do feel like your spiritual knowledge <clears throat> or awareness is starting to grow. And um, you may be trying, <laughs> yeah, listen, three of swords comes out. Um, you may, once again, feel misunderstood because as you're moving away and into other things that are more, that your, your soul is calling you to do, 2020 on the clock, um, people that once were a part of that certain frequency with you, they're not there anymore, or you're not there anymore. You're expanding, and they may look at you like you're a crazy person. I was explaining something to somebody yesterday, and I looked at her and I said, I'm going to tell you this, and you're probably going to think I'm certifiable, but I'm really not. Let me explain why. So, you know, it's like, there's just certain people that you know you can talk to about things that are not going to look at you like um, you're batshit insane or um, they don't just have one way of viewing things where you're able to actually view things. Look at that, the moon and the world card. Um, you know that you can open up and not have to hide who you are. Even if it is, it sounds outlandish, but you're diving deeper to have a deeper understanding of something. So, um, by not being heard, not, not, um, being understood, that's created pain. But I'm also going to say to you, as you're sitting back and you're watching certain things and certain people, there's a pain associated with that because some of you could see a personality trait within somebody repeating from the past as well. And it's like, shit. Like, been there, done that, that hurt, and there's that other shoe. Like, is it going to drop now? Is the rug going to be pulled out from underneath my feet? And, and Spirit is asking you to help heal that. And pay attention to the chest area. I get that for you guys a lot. Pay attention to the chest area. Spirit's saying it's probably anxiety, but again, if you're having any kind of chest pain or something, by God, go get checked. So, three of swords and the ten of wands. You've been carrying around the baggage and the burdens of your pain, other people's pain, People could be projecting or just throwing their bullshit. Like they, they could be projecting on you, their insecurity, so you start to feel that pain because they're creating pain in your world, right? Hurt people, hurt people. But this is also um, part of these lessons. Where was I going with this? Um, part of these lessons for you has been what has kind of tied you up into... The baggage and the burden so they're either projecting or they could be also using you as like um their go-to you may only hear from people when they need something or shit is heavy for them so it's like what about the good days can we share in something good rather than something negative and um with that ace of pentacles underneath i think that you Stepping into an awareness of this is right there, that damn six of pentacles and six of cups. I, I've said this, and I don't know if I've said this in your readings or not at all, um, Capricorn, but I usually had always seen that six of pentacles in a positive light. But what caught my attention recently, and I'm like, wait a second, I don't know if I like this anymore, is there's a hand that's dropping it down and there's a hand that's constantly taking it. And what's bouncing back up is really small breadcrumb kind of stuff. Kind of like the Five of Pentacles for me. Um, I, I can't help it. It's just the way that I've been seeing it. I'm looking at that card differently all of a sudden. So, um, again, what are they giving back? And I know I've said that quite a bit in some of the readings. But you're recognizing, the, you know, they're dumping on you and giving very little back when you are in need. <clears throat> um these are soulmate ties that are teaching you. They're teaching you to up level. All right. What is this music about for Capricorn? The, ooh, the Emperor and the Magician. I, I, I like this. This is you. I said to you with that music, like that, that creative, right? The Magician is creative. He's, he's taking all of the tools and all of the energy, and he's really investing it into the potential of greatness is what I'm hearing. You know, um, the one thing I will say is he doesn't really need to create waves. He just is the wave, is how I feel about this. And um, 
it's going to build confidence within you to go, I can make smart choices. I, I, I have everything that I need. Uh, and I'm going to, I just continue to see a pen and a piece of paper for you guys. So I don't know if you're writing something down, getting your ducks in a row, making a list, writing music, writing books, writing poetry. I don't, I don't know what you're doing, but um, you're creating, you're strategizing. And for some of you, you could be, Spirit just said you'd be writing letters that you're just pissed off at people. You may never share them with them. Maybe you just burn them at the full moon, but it's like you're putting that aggression that Aries energy, that's aggression, um, Mars energy, you're putting it somewhere and you're using it, you're alchemizing it for your higher good. So don't be afraid to create. And like I said earlier to you, like Scorpio tends to take that, those challenges and that becomes their pissed offness becomes their, their motivation. Um, I don't, you're handling it in a, in a softer tone than Scorpio would do. Um, but it's like, this is about what brings you, um, spirit is saying emotional stability. So you're doing it differently. You're doing it in a softer form of how you're addressing it. It's like, a, let's look quieter. Scorpio can cause a shitstorm when they want to, right? I don't feel like you're, you're trying to avoid that. You're just trying to find an outlet to it. <clears throat> All right. What is this expectations about for Capricorn spirit? Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Swords. Uh, I, I do. I think you're giving up taking gambles. Um, the gambles that you've taken may have felt like um, you've gotten burnt. That's where you've gotten backstabbed with, with people and situations. Again, seeing the light in the dark, but the Wheel of Fortune is a positive turn of events. Um, I will say to you, <clears throat> Capricorn, I do feel like as you're letting these um, willy-nillies flow and roam, you're finding that there's other peace that's coming through in your life. Look at this. There's that hermit, the ace of swords. There, there's an actuality of um, realizing it's time to turn your back to these, these things. And they've, you know, some of these people, it's like you could feel like, you know, I was the positive thing. I was the good thing. And they turned their back on me. What's meant for you will remain. What is not will leave. Let it leave. They're going to find somebody else to do it to. They always do. They can't not. That's how they get their energy. They're those energy vampires, right? They will suck somebody else dry. What I was looking at here, and I think that it's interesting, and I, I said about being stable. It's about the emotional stability. Where that came from was the water flow of the magician spirit, of course. And then the fact that the emperor, I've never, blah, 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 blah. I've never noticed this before. You look at his legs. They're kind of crossed like the hangman's energy, right? There's that, that four. I always say it's like a four of a foundation, right? And what I find to be absolutely breathtaking about this is you look at the Wheel of Fortune, her legs are positioned in the same way, but she's just standing up. Um, and, and that to me is signifying that hope, that optimism, that even if I don't have <coughs> two feet planted firmly on the ground, I've at least got one. And that one's enough for me to start over. It's like flamingo energy. Flamingos can stand there all day on that one leg. I would fall over. Um, but you're you're still you're still there. You're still that you're. Uh, I'm still standing. What was that from? Um, Sing, right? I'm still standing. You are. You're still standing. They haven't killed you yet. Keep on moving. They're not going to kill you. Like keep going like you are still standing you took the gamble you know you're learning um that's weird that i started shuffling like that uh and it's okay it's all right so let them let them go and i'm gonna i'm gonna say as people start to move out of your life capricorn the more distance you have between you and them you're going to start to see and realize um how much more peaceful life can be it's, it's a lot less confusing um but the freedom here though Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords. Spirit is saying, be mindful of who sells you the dream. So you like, pay attention to scammers and things like that. If they make it sound way, and I think I might have said this for you in the weekly. It might have been you. If they paint you this beautiful picture of, oh, this can be rainbows and butterflies and it's going to work out perfectly. If it's too good to be true, it is. You're going to know. You're going to know. It might 
get you caught up for a hot second. They're like, well, listen, if I, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're having financial trouble and someone comes in and goes, well, I'm going to give you $4,000 and this is going to take care of this, this, and this for you. And you'll still have extra left over. I expect nothing in return. Just when you get, when you can pay me back, no big deal. What the fuck do they want? And I'm not saying there aren't just good hearted, genuine people who go, Hey, you know what? I've got it to do with and let me help you. But oftentimes, I'm going to say 9 out of 10 times. Maybe, well, actually, we'll go 9.75 times out of 10. They want something in return. So that's where I feel like people have come into your world, Capricorn, and offered you some kind of help or some kind of assistance um, that they know you are in need of to maybe relinquish some constraints that you've had and they use that as a golden opportunity and that's where you have the expectation of well I would do that for somebody if I had it or I could do it so yeah their intentions are pure I think and then you're getting caught up don't expect you from other people plain and simple do not because they're trying to sell you a dream to make it sound they make it sound really great and amazing but there's something that they're waiting on they're they're opportunistic king of wands like i used to like that card i've seen it so much lately every time i see him i could puke like <laughs> that's awful but there's just something about him that he's just i don't know like i'm looking at him between him and the king of swords like i, I am just not a fan they're so removed in, in how they, I don't know, the energy, and if, if you guys read tarot, if you do your own thing like this, um, you know, like, you'll start to see things, like, they'll, it'll signify something for a while, and then it will shift sometimes, and the King of Wands, and um, what was the other one I was talking about earlier, I can't remember, um, <clears throat> oh, the Six of Pentacles. They're just taking on a different meaning as the times are changing. Okay, so I don't know. Be aware of that. Just just watch because that's going to be the thing that clips your wings if you if you give too much. If you're if you're, I'm going to tell you, trust in yourself. Don't trust in other people. Self trust. You need to be the one that you know. Who am I going to trust? You trust yourself. That's the one thing. Like we put all that faith and um, care and stuff like that into other people, but we tend to forget that we. We are a human being too. So we give out what we want to receive, but the problem is we're giving it to people who are taking advantage of it or they don't appreciate what it is that we're giving, right? So then we get taken advantage of, we get hurt, we lose faith and confidence in ourselves, we shut down, we, all those things, right? So beware Capricorn. Backstabbing, there's that ton of swords again. Heartbreak, pain, separation, loss, deception, lies, shocking attack, key on a ring, many options, unconventional, one night stand, string along. Um, this could be partnerships, it does not have to be, but that cross that energy. And it's like, again, that seven of cups, a lot of options. Stringing you along, that deception of, let me make this look really beautiful. Let me show you all the ways we can create this with the seven of cups and seven of swords. It, it's it's the fairy tale that's been sold and it's full of shit. You know, like, you got the ten of cups and the empress. She doesn't need a sword, a knife. She doesn't need cups of confusion. She doesn't see the next bright, shiny thing. She just knows that she and herself is enough to make the shit happen. She doesn't need the confusion of the sevens that comes in. So, I do, I feel like, you know, that's that's been the thing you know finding people that are not committal unfaithful lie cheat steal deceive you know again they've got their own motive as to why they're they're coming in the way they are uh again there will be people who are genuine there are going to be more people who are not right those ones that are not are a dime a dozen sad but it's a true reality to the world we live in soulmates and addiction codependency um Someone along the way here, the Capricorn, taught you not to have, um, not to have faith in yourself. 
to question your abilities. The, this is a large part of your, your inner child is, is learning to decipher who those people are. Um, the one thing that stands out to me is the possession and control on this card. And um, people want to control. They want to dominate you, right? Um, they want you to believe that you know, they can sell you the golden dream and they can fix all of your problems. There ain't no goddamn genie in a bottle here. It, it, there is not. There, There is not. They can't come in and fix your problems. They can't come in and, and whisk away everything because that's when the other shoe does drop. Okay. So it's, it's learning to rely on yourself knowing that you will make it. Maybe times will be tough for a little while, but you will get through the other side of this. I'm telling you, like, once you let these, I'm going to go back to the words, let these people roam, you are going to have people that are going to come into your world that, <laughs> that present, yeah, self-love, self-care, being happy, your love and life. You pick you, you pick the healthy choice of yourself. And you give yourself that unconditional love. This is about you. And you're going to see that other people, that they start to see you the same way you see yourself. Right? You've been hard on yourself. You've deceived yourself in certain ways that once you hold yourself to a higher regard, other people are going to realize that uh, you're not going to take chances on them anymore. You're stepping into your happiness and your joy and your bliss. Um, and they don't want you to be able to be that, you know, like, it, and I would say to, yeah, mask. Be careful who, I was going to, okay, yeah, perfect coffin. Be careful who you are sharing your deepest inner thoughts with. Because, yes, like, we need an outlet to put them somewhere. Sometimes we're talking to somebody else is obviously beneficial. But... Once you open yourself up to that for the purpose of healing, if these people do not want you to heal, if these people want to keep you caught, stuck, constrained, that devil energy, the backstabbing, seven of swords, they're going to put a mask on that says, here, let me give you comfort, and it's falsified. They don't, they, I hate to say this, they don't want you to heal. They don't want this cycle with you to end. But I feel like for the last two years, Capricorn, there's been a cycle with somebody or similar individuals that have continued on and continued forward uh put it to an end these were karmic relationships separate yourself from them new beginnings liberation reborn transition um tragic endings for them it is a tragic ending because you're saying no like i'm okay within me learning to rely in, in self-trust trust your intuition capricorn all right guys i'm gonna leave that there i hope this helps you it's always my goal. So like, share, subscribe, comment. To appreciate all the ways you support the channel. It means the world to me. All right, guys, I'm again, leaving it there. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon.